what will happen in the new episode. Sirkin and Edda finally learn the gender of their baby. Edda, who finds out about her by asking the doctor that they will have a baby, surprises him by telling Sirkin that he is going after her. Karaz, who wants a brother to come, gets very jealous when she sees everyone's attention for the baby. In the baby's rush, they realize that they neglected Karaz a bit. When Edda prepares for Sirkin's birthday with Karaz, everything is fine. However, Karaz's request for the balloon attached to the tree will get screwed up a bit. Edda loses her balance when she climbs the stairs to catch the balloon. However, Sirkin will notice this situation from Edda and will immediately hold him down. So nothing will happen to Edda or the baby. After this situation, Sirkin will notify everyone. And he will want someone to watch Edda all the time. Therefore, Edda will never be alone. Of course, Edda won't like it at all. Edda, whose freedom is restricted, will become a bit more aggressive due to this situation. However, all her eyes are on Edda and no one wants anything to happen to her. As time passes, the time of the baby's arrival approaches. Sirkin, who is always trying to stay in control, breaks down in his car on the road with Edda. Sirkin, who wants Edda to give birth in a fully equipped hospital, will try to fix her car right away. However, Edda cannot bear it and she will tell Sirkin that the birth has begun. Sirkin, on the other hand, will be helpless, not knowing what to do first. However, he will have to give birth to Edda herself in the wild, among the sounds of birds. With the arrival of the baby and the sweetness of all the other events, our series will end in the next episode and it will say goodbye to the screens. Now let's take a look at what happened together in the last episode. The events progressed rapidly and three months passed. When Ed R and Sirkin go to the doctor, the doctor asks about her workload. Ed R says that she will speed up her work. Hearing this, Sirkin says that he has to quit his job immediately. However, Edda tells him not to interfere in her affairs. The doctor wants to know the sex while he examines the baby's condition. However, even though Sirkin wants to learn the genre, Edda wants it to be a surprise, so Sirkin has to accept it. Meanwhile, Aiden tries to get used to her mother-in-law. So much so that when they return from Adana, they are very surprised to see the state of safety Aiden. On the other hand, Aiden tries to do his best to please Yeda Garhan. Although Sirkin has not learned the genre, he goes crazy with curiosity. Although he asks Senjin what her gender is, he never gets an answer. He also doesn't want to ask the doctor because he doesn't want to bother Edda. Enjin, on the other hand, had some ideas. Meanwhile, Aiden pressures Melo about marriage. However, as the subject of marriage is raised, Mello immediately tries to close the subject. Enjin, who is trying to find out the gender of Sirkin, gathers the women of the neighborhood around him and searches for a solution. Finally, the women tell Sirkin about some local methods. However, although Sirkin doesn't believe in any of them, he wants to apply some out of curiosity. As soon as he gets home, he immediately starts practicing with Edda. At that time, Aiden Han came and gave her the pickle that she brought from Adana to Edda. Edda also begins to eat very hungry. However, when she starts eating sweets, Sirkin cannot understand the gender of the baby. Also, Aiden informs Sirkin that Yeda Garhan will want Aiden from Sirkin. Meanwhile, Edda believes that Sirkin knew the sex of the baby from the information PRL gave him. Sirkin, on the other hand, calms Edda by saying that he certainly did not learn. When she got dark, Yedigarhan went to Sirkin and began the ceremony to ask about Aiden. When it's time for coffee, Aiden gets up to make coffee. After the coffee is arrived, Yedigarhan asked Sirkin about Aiden. Sirkin said this is fine, of course. During the ceremony, Edda began to feel the baby's kicks. However, Sirkin cannot feel the baby's kicks. Meanwhile, Kiraz is closely following events, and he's already starting to get jealous of his brother. In the morning, Edda wants to go to the office. 
Serkin, for her part, doesn't want Edda to get tired and wants her to spend her time lounging at home. Edda insists and finally heads to the company. In company, when Serkin shows his photos of gleaming baby rooms, the rose is beautiful. When Edda hears this, she thinks she's getting to know the genre again. At that moment, when the baby kicks, PRL notices. However, Serkin still can't catch the kick. On the other hand, Mello and Aiden do some tests on Barak. And they try to find out what he can do for Mello. While working at the company, Erdem suddenly arrives and makes a mess again. Everyone is very angry with Erdem. However, Engine cannot give up on Erdem. Everyone wonders why this happens. And finally, Engine tells what happened. Erdem's father said that the office they were in was Erdem's father and that they would not pay any rent if Erdem stayed there. Serkin, on the other hand, wants to get out of the office immediately. However, PRL recalls that since the company is new, his budget is not adequate to pay the rent. Serkin has to stay in the office and Erdem stays in the office. Meanwhile, Edar continues to think that Serkin knows the genre. So Edar calls the doctor and learns the gender. Then Serkin is shocked when she tells Serkin that I suddenly found out that we have a baby. Edar is very upset after saying that. While all this is happening, Karaz and Ken want to get married. And they move their parents on their fingers. Meanwhile, Afer and Melo have done many tests in Barak since morning. Barak, on the other hand, was a bit suspicious of this situation. Serkin and Edda spend time at home and Serkin has a 24-hour nurse on call at the door. Edda, on the other hand, is very angry about this situation and she gets mad at Serkin for sending the officers back immediately. While all this is going on, Karam also won college, but he needs some money because he is not a full scholarship student. That is why he is so unhappy. He doesn't want anyone's help and wants to take care of things on his own. However, everyone has learned that Karam needs money. Karaz and Ken wanted to stay in the same house and they came to Aiden's house. At that time, Karam was also there and saw the ring that Yada Garham gave to Aiden. She took it and looked at it and did not like it at all. He then he left where he was and left. When he leaves, Ken comes and sees the ring. She takes Cherry's ring and gives it to Karaz. When Aiden comes to buy the ring, she cannot find it. When Yada Garham and the people they find out, they are very alarmed. In fact, when Karam says I'm going out, Safi and Aiden are suddenly suspicious of Karam. At the company he feels very uncomfortable about Serkin Edar's work. Edar is determined to work. Serkin calls Erdem and asks him to do everything possible to get Edar to leave. Virtue first makes a lot of noise outside. However, Edar turns up the volume on the music and finds a cure for the sound. Erdem turns off the internet this time. However, Edar says that she works without internet and ignores it. In fact, Edar understood that Serkan organized the events. Meanwhile, Aiden explained the facts to Afer and told him that Karam could be responsible for everything that happened. Karam, on the other hand, organized the money for the school and when he approached them and told them that he had arranged the money, they all asked him how he had gotten the money. Karam, on the other hand, doesn't say how he got the money, and everyone is suspicious of Karam. On the other hand, Edar's doctor calls Edar and tells her that she is bored and that she can no longer stand Serkin. Because from day one, Serkin has put a lot of pressure on the doctor. In particular, Serkin asked the doctor to inform him that he could not work for Edar and offered him a bribe for it. That's why he tells Edar that he can no longer be her doctor. Edda, on the other hand, is very angry and wonders who she will meet now. However, Serkin has already thought of them. They immediately go to the doctor Serkin hired. However, the doctor is a fan of tests and gets along very well with Serkin. So Edda wants to find a doctor herself. And this doctor is the opposite of what Serkin wants. When Edda wants to give birth in the water, Serkin gets very angry. 
especially when she says that Serkan will also enter the pool, Serkan freaks out. Due to this situation, Edar wants to see a therapist and try to fix the situation. Serkan agrees and agrees to meet with the therapist. The therapist shows the right and wrong sides of the other when they both listen. Especially when he asks how the situation with Kiraz is, they look at each other and think. Mello, on the other hand, is still undecided, even though Barak has passed all kinds of tests. Because she herself is not ready to marry. Meanwhile, Aiden and the people at home became suspicious of Kerem. As they talk, Kerem listens and gets very angry. Then he says that Barak gave him the money and he walks away angry. Meanwhile, while Serkan and Ed are, are talking, they call Kiraz and want to talk about her brother. They suddenly notice the one on Kiraz's neck and when they look at it, they see a fur hands ring on Kiraz's neck. Serkan immediately calls his mother and explains the situation to her. When they realize the situation, they regretted having thought of Kerem as a thief. The next day, over breakfast, Kiraz and Edda talk about a party. When Serkan hears this, he thinks they are throwing a party for him. In fact, Edda forgot Serkan's birthday. She doesn't know what to do and Ems Aiden comes up with an idea. Then they call Serkan and go looking for him. However, since Serkan doesn't like surprises, he wonders what he wants, when they go to him. He asks him to close his eyes and guess what they are doing. While he is counting, on the other end of the phone are his mother, PRL and Engine. When Serkan says what he wants, they immediately call Mello to get ready. They ask Mello to go immediately to Edar's house and get ready. However, Mello tells Serkan that he is already preparing for a birthday party. They all gathered at Edar and Serkan's house. When Serkan and Edar arrive, Serkan opens his eyes and is very happy to see everyone in front of him. Edar apologizes to Serkan saying that she forgot his birthday and that is why she is very sorry. Serkan, on the other hand, says that she knows and doesn't reveal anything because she wants to see him squirm in front of him like that. As Serkan leaves Edar's side, Hiraz arrives and asks for the balloon of him stuck in a tree. Edar wants to go up the stairs right there and look for the balloon. However, when he leaves, he suddenly loses his balance. Don't forget to like our video for those who like the Touch My Door series and never wanted to reach a final. You can also share our video with your friends so they can follow what is happening in our series. We have reached the end of our video for now. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Bye.